Movements of the thumb. Neutral. Flexion. Extension. Neutral. Abduction. Adduction. Opposition. Neutral. Okay. Manual muscle test for adductor pollicis. Have the patient seated. May be stabilized by examiner or rest on table. Apply pressure against the medial surface of the thumb in the direction of abduction away from the palm. Don't let me move it for five seconds. That was a great five. Manual muscle test for abductor pollicis brevis. Have the patient seated. Stabilize at the wrist with hand in neutral position. Apply pressure against the proximal phalanx in the direction of adduction towards the palm. Don't let me move you for five. It's a great five. Manual muscle test for abductor pollicis brevis. Have the patient seated. Stabilize at the wrist with hand in neutral position. Apply pressure against the proximal phalanx in the direction of adduction towards the palm. Don't let me move you for five. It's a great five. Manual muscle test for extensor pollicis longus. Have the patient seated. Stabilize the hand and give counter pressure against the palmar surface of the first metacarpal and proximal phalanx. Apply pressure against the dorsal surface of the interphalangeal joint of the thumb in direction of flexion. Don't let me move for five seconds. That was a great five. Manual muscle test for extensor pollicis brevis. Have the patient seated. Stabilize at the wrist with hand in neutral position. Apply pressure against the dorsal surface of the proximal phalanx joint of the thumb in direction of flexion. Don't let me move for five seconds. That was a great five. Test for abductor pollicis longus. Have the patient seated. Stabilize at the wrist with hand in neutral position. Apply pressure against the lateral surface of the distal end of the first metacarpal in the direction of adduction and flexion. Don't let me move it for five seconds. That was a great five. Manual muscle test for dorsal interossi. Have the patient seated. Figure A, abduction of the index finger towards the thumb. Apply pressure against the radial side of the index finger in the direction of the middle finger. Figure B, abduction of the middle finger toward the index finger. Hold the middle finger and pull in the direction of the ring finger. Figure C. Abduction of the middle finger toward the ring finger. Hold the middle finger and pull in the direction of the index finger. Figure D. Abduction of the ring finger toward the little finger. Hold the ring finger and pull in the direction of the middle finger. Manual muscle test for palmar interossi. Have the patient seated. Figure A, adduction of the thumb toward the index finger, acting with the adductor pollicis and first dorsal interossi. Hold the thumb and pull in the radial direction. Figure B, adduction of the index finger toward the middle finger. Hold the index finger and pull in the direction of the thumb. Figure C, adduction of the ring finger toward the middle finger. Hold the ring finger and pull in the direction of the little finger. Figure D, adduction of the little finger toward the ring finger. Hold the little finger and pull in the ulnar direction. Manual muscle test for lumbricals and interossi. With marked weakness or paralysis of these muscles, an individual cannot hold a newspaper or a book upright in one hand. Froment sign. The purpose of this test is to test for paralysis of the adductor pollicis muscle. The action. 
The patient attempts to grasp a piece of paper between the thumb and index finger. The examiner then attempts to pull the paper away from the patient. A positive sign. When the examiner attempts to pull the paper away, the terminal phalanx of the thumb flexes because of paralysis of the adductor pollicis muscle.